a filthy wet day, a void of inspiration. When I hear the news that Sputnikor, the last rocker on the face of the world, was found in a catatonic state, writing shit music. I listen to his last song that is no longer true. There is no envy in the teenage instability when such radical changes occur. I decide to go and see some old publishers who contracts with no moral writers. Everything definitely wrong comes from this sewer. The shop boy looks down on me due to his stupid belief that he won a roll. Jerk. The leader is an ambitious old traditionalist who knows how to apply the art of the war only against his followers. He talks about the collaboration between Sputnik and his new artist. I know the weaknesses of the rising human being and how accustomed he is to the seductive power of success. The naive confidence of defending own stylistic integrity behind the fucking slogan sex, drugs and rock and roll must have done the rest. The arrival on the scene of the Sugar Tears singer lady confirms my assumptions when she makes us listen to her useless song. Jasmine, so she says her name. She's pretty like a goddess. Better run before I end up like Sputnik. By now, I think an upgrade is more than necessary. I'm riding the drug before hell takes him away. I run to him, he's addicted to all sorts of drugs. I already know that I'll find him to buy stuff by the usual neighborhood drug dealer. It is useless to ask him the reason for this change of course. It is always the same story. The fear of losing everything once you have tasted the adrenaline of success cancels the initial reason. So they make him possible to cling to their fleeting happiness, persisting to write even no longer having fucking say. But what makes a song special is not the desire to own a stupid SUV, it comes from the desire to shout in your discomfort. You feel this wind coming, it goes up through your ass until your bones vibrate. I'm here to remember who you were and what you were about to become. Welcome back to your shitty life. Mm -hmm.